mañana no? Sí, me voy a bañar. ¿Por qué por qué? ¿O me voy a ir yo? Ok, solo voy a hacer un video bien rápido. No, 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 no. Bien rápido, ma. Es solo bien rápido, ok. Alright guys, so basically today we're leaving to El Salvador. It's going to be a family vacation. First one in forever basically. So yeah, it's going to be so, so, so much fun. So I'm going to take you guys along. We just finished packing. It's both my fam, my, or my family and my aunt's family, like, you know, close family. Anyways, basically two big families are going to El Salvador for nine days to cause some desmadre. So yeah. We made it to the airport, but um, um, it's kind of weird because my mom likes to uh, just be like Santa and take a bunch of stuff from over here to other people over there, which is totally cool, but she just has so many bags. It's too much. So yeah, it's a current situation right now. Um, yeah, which is like. So we just arrived to my uncle's Airbnb here in El Salvador. Hi, las hermanitas. Hi. All right, guys. So this is my uncle's Airbnb, like I was mentioning, and I think this is so dope. Like, if you want to just come for the weekend, rent this out with your friends, and you can literally walk to the beach. A while ago I started to notice like a pattern within myself that I would only really start thinking about God and being grateful for what I have on happy moments and I started to realize that when I was sad or confused about my life and stuff that I wouldn't I wouldn't look to God and so once I figured out that instinction like okay why am I doing it only when things are going good why don't I trust in him when things are going bad and so I've been putting that into practice and it just feels so good to just trust that somebody up above loves me enough to care for me and to teach me things even when things don't go my way. So I'm so, so happy to be here with my family. My parents have been separated for a couple of years now and I am so happy that they can be civil and just be cool friends, you know, even after their divorce and stuff. So I think that's amazing and that's what family is all about. Here. <laughs> then she moved to LA. Like when? How old are you? One nine. Ten. You were nine years old. Nine years old. Went to school. Went to high school. Went to college. And then she moved to Texas. And yeah, she's living the American dream. <laughs> we're still here, going strong. Still chilling. We're about to leave in a couple hours. I would like to think that I got a pretty good tan. I hope so because I need it. I need it. She just woke up from that nap a little while ago. Like a three to four hour nap. And now she's just chilling. And I feel like chilling too, so. So after that last clip, I actually just knocked out. 
for like maybe 30 minutes, but it felt like about an hour and I'm very happy with the results of my nap. I'm feeling well rested. So yeah, on to the next adventure. We're going to my mom's house now. This is a luxury, but I wanna show you guys how it really is for some people out here, including us when we come to visit here. It's not, it, this is the first time we ever come here. So I just wanna show you guys both sides of the nice and the real. Made a pit stop. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna try an alboroto. I don't know. Alboroto. I've been corrected. Coffee and chocolate. Popcorn. And now my very very favorite mangoes. So good. They're super sour. All right. <laughs> Okay, so I was originally gonna show you guys my mom's house, but the sun went down, so I don't think that's a great idea. But we are here about to eat pupusas, and I'll show you guys my mom's house tomorrow. So this is where we at right now. <laughs> December 2nd. Oh. Good morning! Yeah. Alright guys, so this is my mom's house. We walk you through the entrance. And FYI, I won't be showing you guys the interior of the home because there's currently like 12 of us living in there and it's just too personal, too much. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so this is the entrance. Good morning. And then this is where they wash dishes, wash clothes, everybody in this town. I'm not sure, I'm obviously not sure if everybody in El Salvador has this, but this is where they wash their clothes and dishes. And probably a lot more other things too. When we used to come here as a kid, we used to get in trouble because we actually used to jump into the actual place where all the water, all the clean water is. And my grandma used to get mad at us. Those are some... Here's, this is the restroom, don't need to go in there. And then this is the shower. So it's just one room, well not even like a room, but like a space. And you know most of us are getting home at night after like, we've done our activities for the day and it's super dark so we have to take a, a shower in the dark. And this is like the kitchen area, we have, this is the outside kitchen area, like where they're making like super tamales, but we also have an inside kitchen area. I'm not sure what that is, I think it's just a shed, and this is just like an extra living space. Yeah, I know that's just like the front, but the back is just um, kind of occupied with other people's belongings. <gasps> getting like about 10 plus people in one car with all their stuff to one location so here we are what? can you not? you're spitting on me <laughs> ah, family vacation <laughs> Cute. There's three beds in here because our cousin was supposed to be staying with us, but she went with her mom. So <sighs> now we're here. Finally. So we went to our room, checked in, freshened up, just literally a tad. And now we're walking to dinner. This is our first time being like at an all-inclusive resort. So this is all new to us and we feel bougie. Good morning. We're running to breakfast because we woke up late. Good news, we made it to breakfast. It was good, it was good. And now this is our view from the restaurant. going to be Martha's birthday dinner so we're going to have Italian food so we're going over there to meet the pack Ooh, I think there has to be a Starbucks in the city huh? no we there have one. one happy birthday dear Martha happy birthday to you Up with the rash.
raspy voice today <clears throat> and I'm getting an allergic reaction on my skin again I got this last year and I think the final conclusion is that it's just the sun yeah I'm gonna make the best out of it Hey guys, so I haven't really been recording these past two days because I got sick while we were leaving the resort So I've been kind of recovering trying to take care of myself, but today we went swimming And um, now I'm just like fast forwarding to right now we are Martha's birthday still. Get it. Juice out. Say something to your video. Say something. Hello. Oh. <laughs> 